Stuart from Upcycle TV. I've got this old two chest of drawers I'm going to use to review a really cool paint. It's called Fairy Chic. I'm just going to come up closer so you can see. It's quite, um, it's quite a unique branding and very quirky. And yeah, it's the first time I'm going to be using this, so um, I'm quite excited. It's made uh, by a lovely la lady called Paula. If you're interested in buying it, if you just search Fairy Chic into Facebook, you're going to find her pages. Um, she does a lot of live videos and stuff, really worth um, following Paula, she's great. So yes, um, I'm going to paint this with it. I've got a couple of shades of green, so I'm, I'm going to do something a little bit creative, a little bit of um, blending, I think. Um, but the first thing I'm doing is just giving it a quick once over sand. The old paint on here, I believe, was Annie Sloan. So I do, I want to make sure that the paint's going to take to it fine, make sure that this review is going to be a fair review of the paint. Um, so I'm giving it a, a good, a heavy, um, a heavy key uh, with my electric sander here. So yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so here we go with the Fairy Cheek paint review. First thing I always like to do, as you know, is give it a smell test. It smells really, really nice. Oh yeah. It smells like um, uh, like a nursery, like a children's nursery. I don't know if it's Play-Doh or something. It's a lovely smell anyway. It doesn't need mixing. I've just opened the tub, little, little plastic tub, lovely little size to work with. And I've opened it, no mixing at all. So that's a really good sign. Yeah, it goes on and covers really nice. Let's show you here. That's lovely paint, really, really good. So I'm gonna paint the two drawers first in this color, and I'm gonna get the other color and I'm gonna do a little bit of blending. But in terms of this paint, um, yeah, this is, this is fantastic. Like most chalk paints, this one, um, you know, it's, there's no harsh chemicals in these paints, so you can use them for all, all manner of projects um, without worrying about getting sick from the chemicals and all that kind of stuff, so it's always great um, to have that sort of peace of mind as well. Okay, still drying a little bit, but it's almost there. You can see, um, you can just about see, I think, on camera, is the, the sort of darker areas where I've blended the paint. Um, because the shade was so close, it was quite hard to, to see it when I was painting it. Um, but that's not the fault of the paint. I just happened to have those two colors um, and wanted to do some blending today. So um, the paint is fantastic. It's, um, it's very thick, very thick, for a chalk paint, um, but not not very chalky. It's very um, very soft to touch, which I I always do like. That. I don't like the kind of really powdery, harsh feeling that you get from some chalk paints. Um, yeah, really good, really easy to apply. There's a fantastic colour range as well. It's worth um, having a play with this paint because it it's it is a lovely paint. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with it. I'm definitely going to use it again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got loads of really cool stuff across our channel and we want to keep you up to date with all of that. So make sure you press subscribe on that little tiny button in the bottom corner. I'm Stuart, this is Upcycle TV.